Hi Starseeds, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a very simple vegan dish. We're gonna be making jackfruit salad. Now this is, it's a delicious dish and it's also very easy. So it's especially for those people who are super busy and don't have a lot of time to cook. So before we get into the kitchen, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because you know that we are here dedicating all our time to you and providing you with the most delicious plant-based recipes. Let's get in the kitchen. Okay, so we are starting out with the jackfruit. So this is a can of uh, organic jackfruit. It says young tender pieces in salted water. Um, so basically what we're gonna try and do is make sort of like a chicken, vegan chicken salad using all kinds of strange ingredients that you wouldn't think actually go together. So <laughs> this is what we're doing. We need to strain, uh, drain the water out of the can. So just wanna get rid of all that water. There it is. Okay, so now we've got all of our jackfruit out. And basically one can is gonna be for one person, right? Okay, so we're dumping it onto our cutting board. And what we're gonna do is basically what we did to the first can. See how I've pulled apart all of the jackfruit? It's got this incredible texture. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this one, this can, which is just pull apart all of these stringy bits. Oops. <laughs> just be careful because they can get really slippery. I know a lot of people have done pulled vegan, vegan pulled pork recipes. Actually, I think we even have one that we did like, I don't even know how many years ago, like four years ago on how to make pulled pork, vegan pulled pork uh, sandwiches. So what we're gonna do now is just chop a very large onion. And with it, we're also gonna chop, chop uh, two cloves of garlic. And you wanna make sure you're chopping your onions quite fine because we don't wanna wait for a long time for the onions to cook. We want the cooking process to be quite fast, so. Okay, now it's time to just cut up our two cloves of garlic. I'm just really not doing this in a professional manner. <laughs> just chop them up, okay? Finally, finally chop them. So I've got my saucepan here and I'm adding in some coconut oil, I'd say about three tablespoons. So we're starting off with the garlic. We're just gonna add that in. And now the chopped onions. So we just wanna mix this up and cook it for about five minutes until the onions are translucent. For those of you who watched enough of my videos, you know that I always say cook your onions really well for at least about five to seven minutes until they're translucent and cooked very well. So our onions are cooked and now we're gonna throw in our jackfruit. Okay, so just the smell of the garlic sizzling along with the onions is just uh, driving me absolutely insane and I can't wait to eat this. But right now what we're gonna do is add in some spices because we gotta spice it up, right? So I'm going in with a tablespoon of sea salt. Actually, this is half a tablespoon, but we're gonna do this twice. Oh yeah. So we're doing a tablespoon of smoked paprika and this is just going to match perfectly with our jackfruit. Okay, so we're doing a half tablespoon of smoked paprika plus another half tablespoon because we need this spice. So we just need to mix it up now. We're just infusing flavor into our jackfruit. You can just see that it's already changing color. And by now, I'm sure it tastes delicious. Okay. We just need to mix it up very well. And we wanna cook this on high heat and let these babies sizzle and cook. So we have been cooking this for about 15 minutes on high heat and it's just smelling so wonderful and sizzling away. We really want all that moisture out and we want it to be as dry as possible and as caramelized as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of vegan mayonnaise. We just wanna toss the jackfruit in with the mayo. And again, I didn't put a lot of mayo, mayonnaise inside because mayonnaise is slightly salty as well and I didn't wanna over salt it again, so. And we're going in with another tablespoon of mayo. And we're just going to mix it up. Oh yeah. So these figs right here are probably the most beautiful figs that I've ever seen. 
Um, these are local figs and you can't imagine, we actually have a fig tree outside of our apartment and every time I open the window, I get this like beautiful fragrance of fig, fig fragrance. <laughs> so I can't wait to add these in. So what I did was I cut up these beautiful figs into coins like this and we're just gonna plate them. We are assembling all of these beautiful ingredients together to make this wonderful plate, okay? But right now, we need to chop up our avocado. Okay, so we're just gonna pick up our avocado and place it inside of our plate. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take some beautiful lettuce and just put it here in the center. And now it's time to add the best part, which is the jackfruit. Just gonna add the jackfruit in. So just some final touches. We're gonna be adding in a little bit of chopped red onions and some sprouts. So these are organic sprouts made from broccoli, radish, and arugula, and they're so crunchy and full of nutrients. I love them. And the reason why I wanted to add these in and also the sweet figs and avocado is just to give a little bit of balance to the salty, smoky, sort of bacony flavor of the jackfruit. So was that easy enough for you? I think it was super easy. If you have any questions or any comments, do leave them down below in the comment section. I'd really like to hear from you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because like I said before, we love providing you guys with plant-based goodness. So I hope to see you guys next time.